Now, my next topic is PECO emulsification without hydro procedures. So what are the situations in which we might have to carry out PECO emulsification without doing a hydro dissection? A, posterior polar cataracts because there is a risk of posterior capsular rupture in these patients. And also hypermature white cataracts because the cortical matter is very loose and there's hardly anything which is sticking really to uh, the bag. Now, um, without hydro delineation, we might need to operate in mature white cataracts. It's not really recommended to do a hydro delineation because lots of times the epinucleus and the nucleus is stuck together. It's one mass. And there is no uh, separate epinuclear plate. Now, posterior polar cataracts, the cortical peeving hydro dissection should definitely be avoided. It can, we can, either we can give control multiple short bursts of uh, fluid, or we can use even a viscoelastic cannula just to separate the cortex from the anterior capsule and then go ahead. A general hydro delineation is recommended so that we have a nice epinuclear cushion and we can operate a little safer. It is always better when we are beginning to do uh, posterior polars to practice PECO without hydro dissection in normal cataracts so that we feel much more comfortable when faced with a situation like posterior polar. So I'll uh, just demonstrate this technique of uh, how to step use the viscoelastic. So here we are just going in and beneath the anterior capsule with a viscoelastic cannula and just making sure that we separate it from the anterior capsule, gently uh, putting in some viscoelastic, do a good hydro delineation so that it's easier for us. And then go ahead with the trenching. And here without rotation, we're just dividing into two and picking up each piece and not really taking care that we don't rotate the nucleus much. And then we emulsify. <coughs> now, uh, is there any situation where we need to operate without any hydro procedure, neither hydro dissection or hydro delineation? So this could be a case of traumatic cataract. Again, we don't know the status of PC in these cases, and it's best to avoid hydro. Uh, even uh, very rarely when there are posterior polar cataracts with a significant nuclear cirrhosis, it's actually a hard cataract with posterior polar. Uh, you inadvertently, when we are going in to do a hydro delineation, we might end up doing hydro dissection, which can be dangerous. So it is possible to operate without doing either of these procedures. And this is one such case. So this is a posterior polar cataract with significant nuclear cirrhosis. So we start the surgery as regular, we make a decent sized rexis. Here I want you to just take a notice that we went in, we went in with a hydro cannula, we were about to do a hydro delineation, but then we realized that this is a little tricky. If we do a hydro delineation in this kind of nucleus, we might actually end up doing a hydro dissection. So we just came right back out. So we've not done hydro dissection or delineation in this case. And then we go ahead and make a trench. Crack it into two. Away. Again, uh, avoid any uh, rapid maneuvers. Uh, avoid rotation as much as possible. Just try to uh, do it in the same position. And then before withdrawing, it's very important that we inject viscoelastic so that we can uh, ma maintain the chamber stability and do not lead to a posterior capsular end. <coughs> 